What is up, YouTube? This is Jim with JimLopez.com. In this video, I'm going to do a tutorial on AAWP. AAWP is a WordPress plugin for Amazon affiliates. Amazon affiliates that are looking to boost their commissions by creating product boxes, bestseller lists, comparison tables, and more. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create these exact comparison tables single product boxes and bestseller lists so if you're ready to take your amazon affiliate to the next level let's get started to get started you're going to need a wordpress website and your amazon associates account so once you sign up and set up an account with aawp it's going to be real easy you're going to go into your wordpress plugin and you're going to download the aawp plugin app and once you set it up, you're going to activate. AAWP has a document page to where it gives you in detail how to set up everything from the Amazon API plugin to your first setup with the Amazon API and also how to set up the actual WordPress plugin. So I won't spend too much time on that, but that's how you get it going. You're also going to want to download the browser extension. So the browser extension gives you the ability to use a short code. So when you're on actually on amazon.com, when you're on an actual product, you would just click on the actual extension here, and then it would provide a short code for that product. Everything from standard product, uh, you have a uh, tables, buy uh buy on amazon button and a product thumbnail so i'll go into these but i just wanted to tell you that you also download the extension okay once you got that part done you're going to go ahead and log into your wordpress website you're going to go to the aawp plugin and you're going to get click on the settings right here they have an output this gives you the ability to make changes uh customize it so you can do everything from number of list points you can change that uh, it's currently at five. You can do everything, like I said, with the description, the rating. So if you want to change anything, you can hide it. You can create standards. So if you want to keep the products and uh, it have the star rating, you can leave that. You can also do pricing. You can hide pricing. You can change the currency to percentage. You can also uh, change the name here from a sale to right here. So the, the following placeholder. Uh, price reduction you can also uh, if you don't want to see the prime logo you can hide it you can show prime logo you can show prime logo and the link to the amazon prime right here you have the ability to customize the button you can also hide the button you can change the style and also the color so if you wanted a uh, different color you can change the actual uh, color of the button i'm just going to go ahead and put it back to standard the icon you can hide it you can uh the label buy on amazon so it gives you the ability to customize it right here inside of the actual settings under output next we're going to go ahead and start with a product box so once you're inside your actual uh blog post you can click on the plus sign here and then just search aa wp and you have this icon here you go ahead and click on there and now you have the ability to do product boxes bestseller list new release data fields uh, test links and text links and comparisons so what i'm going to go ahead and do is right here i'm going to go ahead and click on product boxes so on the right right here like i said you have the ability to click uh the different types but we're going to go ahead and do uh, product boxes so you can enter the actual amazon asin which is the amazon serial identification number or you can actually search right here within your own um, wordpress blog post so i'm just going to go ahead and search here and i just went in and put glass containers and is bringing up a list of glass containers so i'm just going to go ahead and pick one so we can uh, select it confirm selection and that quickly it went ahead and added it so what you have here is the image you have the title and then you have the bullet points with the price it's on prime and buy now it also gives you the ability to make any changes 
to this uh, box here. So right here where it has Amazon button, if I wanted to go down and I didn't want to display the buy on Amazon, you can just click right here and then it'll update it and then remove it. So you can actually see uh, how you would prefer it. So you could make changes directly on here as well. And I'll go ahead and put the display this display buy on Amazon button. So it just came right back. And like I said, you can do everything from uh, the thumbnail, description, the link, the title. And you can make any of the custom changes right here for the product description. Okay, so next we're going to do the best seller. So I'm going to go here again and I'm just going to click, click on AAWP. Click on that one here and I'm going to go do it. Go ahead and do the best seller list. So right here we have the best seller list. And I'm just going to put a keyword. Let's do paleo cookbook. So I went ahead and used the keyword paleo cookbook and it went ahead and provided me with 10 of the best sellers for the keyword paleo cookbook. So as you can see going down, it's numbered all the way down to 10. So if you if you only wanted to do five, you can make changes here. So right here, uh, it gives you the ability to change the number of items. If you want to show the ribbon, let me go ahead and take that off, see the difference. So it doesn't, it no longer has the number right here on top. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it back on so you can see the difference. And then you can actually customize um, what the ribbon says. If it's for sale, it gives you the ability to... Um, Let's go ahead here, same thing, change description. So if you wanted to make a shorter description, you can. If you wanted a description length, 200 words or less, same thing with the Amazon buy button. If you want to change it, you can do the rating. So it gives you the ability, even on the bestseller, to make any changes to this portion of it. So this product here was the, the single product right here is the best seller so as you can see um, it just has three bullet points the title the price and the buy on amazon and like i said you can make any changes you can change this color of sale you can remove the sale and you can do it all within right here on the wordpress so uh, this is the best seller list okay so next we're going to create a comparison table so i went ahead and went back to aawp and click on tables and I'm gonna add a new table. And once you're in here, I'm gonna go ahead and title or add a, a new table. We're gonna do meal prep containers and we're gonna go ahead and leave this as standard. So right here you have to add the actual product. So over on Amazon, they actually have the ASIN in the URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and I'm gonna paste it here. And uh, I'm going to add product by ASIN. So it has that one there. And I'm going to go to my next one. I'm going to go ahead and copy the ASIN of that one. I'm going to go ahead and paste it here and add it. So for right now, I'm just going to do these two products. You can do as many as you want here for the comparison. And then right here, we're going to go ahead and add a new row. So you get to choose from everything from the title, the thumbnail, the price, Prime status. You can also do some short code and some custom ones. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and do let's uh, thumbnail is the actual image. And then I'm going to add a new row. And you can um, let's go see here link output. You can actually make the the thumbnail itself uh, a link. And this one is uh, if you wanted to highlight a row, you can highlight the row. The next one we're going to go ahead and do is the title and I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the next one is going to be the price. So we'll keep those three there. And like I said, you can add uh, different ones that, that you like. So we're going to go ahead and keep these two products. You can also do some more customization, but for right now, I'm going to leave it as that. And then I'm going to go ahead and publish it. So when I go back to the actual article, I'll show you that next. So I'm back on the blog post and right here again, under the AWP, uh, you have the ability to do uh, comparison tables. So right here has a comparison table, select the table. So as you create them, like the one we just created, which is the meal prep containers, I'm going to go ahead and click that. 
and it's going to go ahead and add the table here. Like I said, I made it very simple. It just had the image, the title, and the price. And you can add more um, products. You can add uh, more customization, but this is uh, the basic comparison table. So next, we are going to get into the actual extension. So if you're on Amazon.com or any of the Amazons and you have the extension, once you're on the product, you would just click on the uh, AAWP extension and it gives you the ability to create a standard uh, product box. You can do table, you can do buy on Amazon, or if you just wanted the product thumbnail. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'll do the standard one and then I'll show you what the product in table view. So all you would do is you would click and copy the short code and then you would go into back to your your WordPress site and you would just go ahead and, and paste it there. And then what uh, once you would save it, uh, this is what it would look like on the actual uh, website. So this is the product. It has the bullet points here. It has the price and then uh, buy on Amazon. And this is the the table. Let's go ahead. And this one was called the uh, uh, products in table view. So this is what the products in table view will look. So it basically has a preview of the product, the product title, price, and buy on Amazon. So this is like a different view of it. So again, this is what um, the bestseller ones look like. And then this is the going back on top was the just product alone. So like I said, there's two different ways of getting it. You can get it within the actual uh, blog post itself, or you can use the extension. And again, uh, let's go ahead and go in to the get AAWP. And again, this is the, the demo of what, you know, if you added a little bit more detail to the comparison table, you would have it can look like this this is the single product and then we went into the best seller so real quick i just wanted a couple cover pricing so awp has uh, an annual and a lifetime so the annual is for one site it's 49 dollars a year and you get all core features included no multiple site uh, multi-site use one year of updates and one year of support uh, so that's the personal one they have the plus which is up to three sites for 129 a year and then this one also has includes the same thing and then they have the pro which is 249 for up to 10 sites and then of course they have the ultra for 399 a year up to 25 sites and uh, they also have the lifetime deal so if you want to if you had one site you can pay a one time um, fee of 199 you get lifetime access at the time of this video and they have for the plus they have the 499 for the three websites so these are their their pricing right here they have 30 day money back guarantee what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to go ahead and leave my affiliate link if you want to support this channel if you found this video helpful and you were planning on purchasing uh, this plugin, um, if you don't mind, you can use my affiliate link. And if not, it's okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave it in the description. So check that out. Again, if you're looking to take your Amazon affiliate game to the next level, this is a plugin that you might want to consider. Like I said, it gives you the ability to add images, current pricing, so you don't have to worry about pricing, up-to-date information. It has flexible configuration. And as you can see, there's a design customization. So again, if you found this video helpful, please do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.